Lovell will go up against Bolton, who uh, would probably be playing one of his uh, few senior games here at East Geelong. So the ball is in the middle of the ground. Umpire about to restart play. Lovell up. Bolton over the top, ends back, ends up in the hands of Toby Bray. Handball's out wide, goes to Tadaro. No clean contact, pick up, but the handball was good. And ends up with Chug, runs inside 50, kicks the ball long. Going back, oh, Kitchen fell over, it slipped over, so he did, it must be wet. Picked up there by Gamble, he's pressured out of it. And the uh, defence of East Geelong simply forces the ball through for a minor score. And it's the first score of the second quarter, it's a behind. Three goals, three now to the Werribee side, one goal, three to East Geelong. Lachlan kicks in and went short up the middle of the ground. Fire Primke. And he's going to play him now and go towards centre wing. Jennings is going to be the target. Coming from behind. Hall, good spoil. Actually, if he had nearly got been quicker, he could have nearly marked his own punch there. But with pace, just ambles through the middle of the ground. This player steps inside 50. Loads up, goes long. Held up in the breeze. Kitchen with some good body work. Through for a first goal of the second quarter to David Hall. Four goals. Comes now. Throws the ball up. Up goes Lovell, but the ball uh, favours Bolton. It comes out towards uh, Primke, is it? No, it's Chamberlain. Chamberlain on the left yep. boot, puts a wobbly old kick down on the forward pocket. Shawnee O'Leary leads in the race for the ball, but the boundary line beats all. And Invalee, Bannockburn 6-3, Carayo 5-1, which was a bit of a surprise. Well, Belmont 3-3, Bell Post Hill 7-3, and Winchelsea 1-1, trail Geelong West, two goals, two. So the ball's come back into play. Goal. So the umpire again about to start play. Lovell's going to do the ruck work. Hill's obviously there doing the ruck work for the East Geelong side. Comes to the front of the contest. Going through and picking the ball up is Smith. Handball's over the top. Missed Titsi. And the ball's gone over the bound. Good spoil. That's what you need to see. The ball thrown back in the play. Lovell taps the ball down. Good clean pick up. Titsi goes back. Went looking for Chug. This time Chug runs over the boundary line. So uh, Werribee might be content just to waste a little bit of time with that ball over the boundary line. So we're out now we're on the, where the 50 metre arc hits the boundary line. Ball thrown back in. It's a long throw. Gets to the back of the contest. This time it's Smith who picks the ball up. Able to get the kick forward. Back into the centre of the ground. Going back with Bolton. Ball gets through the back of the contest. Lachlan's there. Gets through the contest. Good tackle there oh, by Hardingham. Gone. Ball comes out to Bowman. He feeds the ball back towards Primke. And Primke now goes looking for Scrobblack. Kick wasn't good off the boot. Gets through the back of the contest. Picked up there. And a good handball forward. Good chase down from defence there. And we're looking at uh, Chug, who again is quite content. He decided to go the other, and I'd nearly paid deliberate for that. I don't think he had much intention coming out the other had side. Had no intention Robert. whatsoever. <laughs> so the ball has been thrown back into play. Lovell does well. The ball ends up with Jennings. Kicks around the corner. And he goes back inside 50 by a short distance. Going back. Should have been a free kick to He's Hall. He's going to get it. had eyes on the ball. And it goes against Coy. Which one? Doesn't matter because they're both there. So David Hall with the resulting free kick. In between back pocket and back flank. Handball's back inside to Leach. Now this will be a tester. It's a nice low kick. Goes looking for Kelbert. It's a great kick. Kelbert marks in his chest. 1-2. One, 1-2-3 two, one, two, now. Ends up back with Chug. Ball kicked in towards 50. Coming out and marking. That's a strong present there. And it's Heath Buck. So he takes a mark right on 50. Have a shot. Now runs inside. Long kick. Goes towards the goal square. Vetter going back against Kitchen. Good spoil from Vetter. And the ball is going to be rushed through for another minor score. Jeez, he got himself in the right position. Vetter that time. As in comes the ball now from full back. Out towards centre half back. It's a long, nice kick, but on his own there as Lovell takes a nice mark. He handballs to Burke. Burke gets his kick brilliantly smothered by Jennings, but he butters up and gets back on it. Burke now on the left boot. It's a funny old kick to nobody in particular. As it comes out towards the wing area, O'Toole's leading the race for the ball. He picks it up. He'll get around him. No, he doesn't. He gets the handball. Curbs by one hand. It's picked up there by East Geelong. Puts it down towards the half forward flank. Burke tries to get the ball. Takes a bump, but does get it. Over to Hall now. Hall would like to run, but he's not going to this time. He puts the left boot up in towards the half forward flank, but a nice easy mark by Primke by the looks of it. Uh, Bolton this time, it's mate. Bolton, yep. the, I should well. say, as he puts it in the centre of the ground, and it could be Chamberlain there in the centre of the ground. So Chamberlain with the ball now back in the centre of the ground. Has players leading fall. Hall's one of them. He's a nice long kick of the football. That's where he goes. He's going to put pressure on the defence. Scrobblack's there. Good work there from uh, David Leach. Able to get the ball to the ground. Scrobblack picks the ball up. Kicks round the corner. Can't get enough distance on it. Ends up back there with Bunworth. Handballs towards Hall. Going back towards goal. Goes across the face of goal. They can't make a mistake now. Leach does well. Clean pick up. Spins out of trouble. Goes back towards centre wing. Kick. No one there for, East, uh, for uh, where his side. Picked up by Bone. And he goes short. That kick's not good. Calvert chips in. Good spoil. Now it's with uh, Pilkington who comes through centre wing. 
Well, that's not a long kick of the football, but goes out wide. Buck protects the space Back. and is interfered in the marking contest. And he will go back and take a resulting free kick. Starting to get a few touches, Heath Buck. Yes. Good, uh, it's a good recruit this time of the year, mate. If you can get him playing, so the ball kick back inside 50. Primke can't take the mark. Pilkington's there. Handball's back inside. Finds Jennings. Gets around to Darrow. Has time to steady. Kicks back towards Hill. It's just inside the centre square. A good spoil from behind. Picked up by Chug. Handball's wide. And again... They're through numbers. They're away with Calvert, who's pushed under centre wing. Kicks back in towards centre forward. This time it's Primke. He comes out and takes the mark. Primke now heads towards the centre half forward, in the centre of the ground. It's taken by East Geelong there. Can't quite pick him up as he Thomas. puts it down. It's Thomas. Puts it down towards the half forward flank. Ed's, Shawnee O'Leary edges his opponent out but can't quite get back on it as Alice gets to the ball first. He taps it towards the boundary line. He's going to let it go over. And the boundary, boundary umpire throws it in. Up goes the big fellas, comes out towards Chug, he can't pick it up, it's a kick off the ground, it's a bit of an air shot as Braden Smith picks it up and comes out towards the wing position. Oh, there's a big fly over there from East Geelong, but no mark's been paid, and now it's picked up by Pilgrim, puts it up out in the full maybe, no, it's just bounced, the umpire's a long way away. So the ball with the umpire to be thrown back in. Hardingham's going to do the ruck work up against Bolton. Actually, need a play. Actually, got to the contest, but picked up there. And the ball's kicked forward by Thomas. Goes in towards the centre half board position. Level comes across with the fly of the ball. Ends up with Coy. Some good running play there by Jennings. Runs to 35. Steps around inside Hall. Goes towards goal. And oh, hits the post. he's hit the post. So a bit of unlucky play there from Jennings. It's a nice piece of work. Beautiful. One football. goal, a four now to East Geelong. Four, four to the East Geelong side. And David Lee, he's wasting no time. That's a great kick. He's played on. He's kicked the ball no higher than two metres off the ground. And it's gone 50 yards. Handball goes into Alice towards over the top of Kitchen. Coming out now to Primke. Back in the hands of Kitchen. Picked up by Hardingham. Look to feed the ball forward. Only as far as Thomas. He reaches around. Goes back towards Bolton. He's tackled. Needs to release the ball. Does so. Ends up with Lachlan. Now with O'Hara on the far side of the ground. Kicks block towards centre wing. Not enough depth on the ball. And Anthony Burke steps in and takes the mark. And slows play down now for the Werribee boys. Kicks the ball short. Nice little kick. Over the top. Cornish, I think it is, out there. So again, still towards centre wing. This time the kick goes inside 50, but this is where they're falling down. The mark's been taken by Bolton. It doesn't taste any time. He kicks straight back into the hands of Smith, and he takes the mark. Smith and Hall are very much built the same, aren't they? They are, yeah. One right footer, one left footer. So Smith now. That also is a nice-looking kick. Goes out wide, looking for Hardingham. Front of the contest. Cornish, great hands to Pilkington. Now the runner inside's Cole, but he's inside 50. Can go to the goal squares. The size of centre-up. That's a great position for the ball to go. Oh, oh he used his body. Yeah, now that was great use, Grub. You called it there. Just put himself into the space. Knew where the ball was going to fall. And Anthony Kitchen's taken the mark about 20 metres out from goal. And you would think this would just be uh, lay down as there for Kitchen. Well, on a, on a normal day you would think so, but the blustery win may, may affect him a little bit, but I would give 10 to 1, he was never going to mark that against a bigger opponent, but he just propped and just let the ball fall into his hands. Kitchen now, comes in, he'd only be 20 metres out, he's pretty much directly in front, takes his time, in he comes, umpire doesn't move, and that's a goal to Werribee Centrals to take him to 5-3, 33, East Geelong, one goal, 4-10. Throws the ball in the what? air. What? Ball's tapped down by Bolton. Goes towards centre wing. O'Hara coming in from that position. He handballs up and it goes towards Coy. Spins round. Goes back towards Trusenar forward. Smith and Hill gets to the ground. And David Hall playing at half black flank. And gee, isn't this a luxury for, for wherever this afternoon? His third bounce. He now hits towards centre wing. It's a nice looking kick, but it's got too much air. Primke's going to arrive to spoil Hardingham. Oh, no. So he's no, the hand. no, and the mark is going to go. Says the umpire, chop of the hand. So the ball with Hardingham on centre wing. The big fella, not a nice looking kick off the boot. Goes in towards the half forward line. Picked up there by Jennings. Spins out of the contest nicely. Has one bounce. Took him, put himself under pressure. And with that, the kick has been turned over. And it goes to Deluca. Held on to it too long. Oh, now there's fifty. Oh no, bit harder kick this one. So you have to aim inside the left post? Or? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Just don't kick it too high. We'll work it out from this time. We've got a great look at it anyway. So Matthew DeLuca comes in. 25 metres out, maybe. That's where he oh, shot from. That's what straight through the middle, mate. He's he been a good inclusion for the side. Getting his one or two from the half forward flank, which I see them move. Uh, we thought the attacking end of the goal scoring end might be the far end, but uh, he's to the, well, at this stage, East Geelong failing to get in the scoreboard. An opportunity now. Good Queens from uh, O'Leary. Scroblack on a lead. Leach, not much chance there with the wall, way the ball was positioned. 
and Adam Scrobble that comes out and for East Geelong if you say they need a goal this is where the big fella's got to stand up and kick one well there's no doubt about that and you're right Leach had no chance but you've still got to mark it and Scrobble had the goods to do that so Scroblack will kick from about 25 metres out and again almost directly in front umpire does oh, not that's move looks straight up over kick. his head his second goal of the afternoon see East Geelong move along to two goals 4-16 they try Bolton so uh, the reliance is going to be a constant big fella in the middle of the ground good work there from Bolton Bray does well Tetsy good hands Chug Going through the middle of the ground. Kicks in towards the full forward position. Bark out in front. Oh, he's got I'll it. I'll tell you what. He would have got a, really got a free kick there for a leg then, I reckon. Grubby, <laughs> he uh, did a really he did well there. His whole career was he kicking for goal. So well, let's see if he's improved that as well. Let's have a look at it, Grub. You call it in, mate. You call him. And he comes Heath Buck now. 35 out. He's wobbled it off the side of the boot. And it's gone straight out. Oh, for a point. Just. So he hasn't made it a lorry. to bring the ball in. No, it'll be Lachlan this one. Lachlan. Long sleeve jumper better. Okay. No, no. Uh, Lachlan. Lachlan, big long kick, it's gone to the centre of the ground, it's a lovely kick, up they go, O'Hara can't take the mark, but he's paid the mark to an East Geelong player, is it Bolton? Bolton, I think it is, he's, he's seen Primke along the half forward line, he's gone straight to him, too much height for Todro, over to now East Geelong on the half forward line, tossing, turning, he comes back on the left foot, who was that, Smitty? That's Sponner. That's Sponner, and he's found Scrobelak about 25 metres out, 30 metres maybe, 45 degree angle, and that's beautiful football. Yeah, he had time to steady. There wasn't a lot of pressure around the ball. And uh, what with that, a nice-looking kick went out. Favoured Scroblack again. I think uh, Leachy gave it away that time. He's uh, too far behind. Oh, yeah, a long way. So Scroblack's going to come in. Looking at goal number three for Adam Scroblack. It's going to go across the face of goal and through for a minor score. So East Geelong just starting to get a little bit of movement going now. Two goals, five. They trail six goals, five Werribee. We said about 19 minutes gone, second quarter. Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. Hall doing the kicking in, so another bloke that can kick a football. Called the play on by the umpire. It's a kick that goes just towards 50, but Bolton, he's, he's taking another always, mark. It's always going to be a dangerous kick. Handball goes back, and it's picked up there by Cameron. He loads up, goes back to the goal square. The only one there is Leach. He actually drops the ball, has time to steady, picked the ball up. Handball goes in, ends up with Hall, and he streams out of defence. His call kicks this time has gone as high as it has long, but again, Kelbert coming up. Just reads the flight of the ball that much better and kicks takes the mark. Plays inside to Bray. Looking for running players and has it in Ellis. Oh, the big fella Bolton. He's done another great chase and a tackle there. Pills kicked up by Montgomery. Going back towards Bray. Running players again required. Not needed this time. Bray goes out wide in the direction of Kitchen. Good spoil from behind by Vetter. O'Hara at ground level picks the ball up and goes back towards centre wing. Lachlan, he's best positioned by that kick, but the support is with the Werribee side. And Devon Ellis, good clean pick up from the young kid. Gets around the first player, then gives it away. I think it's out of bounds. The boundary well, line. I think he do not work. So the ball back in centre, well, just over the centre wing. Ball's picicked up there by Primke. He's tackled. Ball comes out. tici has got the ball. Now it's the rival of Spencer. Taps the ball clear of the contest. East Geelong just trying to get gain, gain yards along the ground. It's got to be careful now. It's gone into players everywhere. Umpire's going to come and take possession. It, mate, it'll be all right too with ice. <laughs> so the ball tapped down this time by Lovell. Picked up by Montgomery. Kicks back towards centre wing. Goes through the contest over the top. Lachlan coming the other way, but kicks it up into the hands of Pilgrimson. He handballs to Chug at ground level. Oh, good work from DeLuca. He plucks it out of the contest. Tom Tetsy goes out wide, finds Bray to Pilkington, runs inside 50 with pace. Has time to set if he wants to towards goal. Kicks in there. Oh, oh Kitchen's nearly marked that. He nearly <laughs> did. He hit the goal post, so we'll put it down as a uh, rush behind. And, and that it comes already six. now. They've moved that very, very quickly as it gets down towards the centre of the ground. Big punch from behind from Bunworth. It comes out to East Geelong now. Who's that bloke, Smitty? Don't Cameron, know him. Cameron. It's Cameron. Cameron was an errant handball. Goes over to Towards DeLuca, I think it might have been. That no, was Tietz. Out it comes now. Todro picks it up. He's on the left boot. Doesn't know where to go, but he, oh, over the top. Umpire calls play on. East Geelong defence working overtime as they get it back out and a good kick there. And it will find Spencer. Spencer. Spencer now on the right boot. Puts it in the centre of the ground. There's no one there except East Geelong players. So it's a magnificent kick. He, oh, he dropped the ball. Shawnee O'Leary going to get a free kick though. No, he's not. Umpire said play on. Comes out now. They can't get the ball out. Here it comes now. Shawnee gets it again. Puts it over the top at the spawner. He drops the ball. Hot, hot, and out comes Tietz. Tietz goes over to Montgomery, and Montgomery puts it up towards Kitchen. It's going to be a down the ground free kick. It's a mark anyway. Take your pick, and Kitchen will line up from about 30 metres out on a 45 degree angle. So the right man's got the ball in his hand. 
And Anthony Kitchen's going to line up for goal. So Anthony Kitchen. As I said, you won't have to watch the goal umpire's reaction. Just watch where the fist goes once he kicks the ball. <laughs> well, let's hope he took <coughs> a leaf out of the last bloke's book and aims that left post like you told him all to do, Smitty. Yeah, just inside the left post where it needs to be, mate. Let the wind do the rest. So Kitchen comes in, chips at the ball. Oh, nice looking that. kick. That's Have a look beautiful. at him. The hand goes straight in the air. You know it's through for a goal. That's the seventh goal f for the uh, Werribee side. Well, for a good performance. So again, the ball back with the umpires, middle of the ground. O'Toole's obviously had some work done. He's up and moving a little bit more freely now. Bolton's done extremely well. This time O'Toole is going in there doing the ruck work. Sean O'Leary playing an unfamiliar role in it. The centre bounce goes long, goes looking for and will find Scroblack. Handball comes back into Sponner. Handball goes back to Coy and we're talking about Ryan. Kicks round the corner, goes towards goal. It's has goal. got the distance, has got the coverage and it's through for his first goal of the afternoon. And so trains are still being made. Ruck work done there. Ball picked up there by Lovell. Tries to kick it along the ground or picked it up and had a bit of a freshie. Picked up there by Bowman of East Geelong. He's tackled You're right there. So the ball now with Werribee. A free kick to Burke. Right in the centre of the ground. Kicks in long. Goes into the full forward position. Kitchen does well this time. Had to spoil and did so. Picked up by Kelbert. Dribbles the ball back towards the goal square. Coy's back there. Needs to pick it up cleanly. Does so. And the ball's kicked out. That was Bud. Ball thrown back into the field of play. Kelbert's going to do the ruck work, gets to the back of the contest. Burke's there, can't get a clean con or pick up the first time. Now he collects it, runs away from goal, kicks round the corner, goes back to that hot spot. Good spoil there from East Geelong, ends up with Primke, goes backwards to O'Hara. He just loads up and goes towards centre wing, hoping for the boundary line. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad kick. Found play down the back line to get up, but the ball's now back with the umpire, thrown back in the field of play, level. Taps it to the advantage this time. Picked up by Sean O'Leary. He's had a few good clearances from those contests. Kicks the ball forward, but in front. And the mark's been taken there by Smith. So running player across the far side of the ground is Hall. Needs to put it into space and in front of him. That's a great kick. Player's going to run onto it. No chance that player have of stopping there. Not a chance. Nice long kick into the forward line. Goes towards Kitchen. Over the back of the contest. Buck was there. O'Leary got high. No free kick from the umpire. Kick towards the goal. Not too sure who it was, but might have been Buck again. Goes across the face of goal. DeLuca can't keep it in field. Hardingham coming back into the fray. So doing some ruck work. Some strong work there by Calbert. Picked up there from East Geelong. Kicks out. Hardingham just coming on. It's going to be best suited by the bounce and everything here, I think. But Chug decides to take it on himself. Again, loads up. Kicks back towards the hot spot. Mark in front. Could be taken and will be taken. Oh, it's cool play on. I thought that was a clear mark. He's the only one that actually had possession of it. And... Good work there from Corwin in the end, who brings him down in the tackle. Umpire's going to take possession. It's a lot closer than we are, Smitty. No, you're right there. I'm wearing glass and you've got none, so we're in real <laughs> trouble. So Lachlan comes through to Tadaro, and it's a free kick. And Drewy Lachlan it is for the East Geelong side, who has the ball. So he's now it's back with him now, about to restart play. Buck's standing the mark, and the ball kicked out long. Heads out towards centre wing. Hardingham, big fist up, good spoil. Bray can't get clean pick up. Chug, quick kick round the corner. Went through Gamble's leg, picked up there by Coy, I think. Streaming out of defence. His kick went high, goes out looking for O'Hara. He's up, good protection of space again. Oh, she didn't take the oh, mark. And, uh, got Pilkington, a push, though. Yeah, it was one there. Pilkington kept playing, went to Calvert, short kick. Went to Burke, and pressure now, kicks round the corner, going back, and there's all East Geelong. So East Geelong to turn defence now into attack. Ball's kicked back, and again, you look up, and there's no all, there. all Werribee, and it's Chug that's going back to collect the ball. Not a good support there from Smith, allows the chaser to get through, and that was Thomas, but behind is Hall, and there he goes again. That's one bounce. Loads up in that long left foot. That's a great-looking kick again inside 50. Goes looking for, can't find Ch um, Buck, but it gets through the contest. Picked up by Burke. Where's he going to go? He's going to go the banana from the boundary line. I think he's he got it. He drills it. He drills it, and it's a goal. So good work there. So... Uh, we just don't know, mate. We might have to go for a walk at half time and see where the wind's blowing. Well, I'm not missing out on Dorney Bud Scods for that, mate. Oh, don't worry about just, that. I don't think I'll be going that way either. <laughs> so there's a free kick being given. It goes towards the Werribee side, and it's given to Hardingham. It gives it to Chug, who kicks the ball forward. In front was Gamble. Didn't take the mark. Gets through now. Goes back and tries to collect it. But at ground level, it's East Geelong doing the work. But it's picked up by Kelbert. Went back towards the goal square. 
a good spoil there from Vetter. Needs support. Burke arrives again. Went to tap it back through his legs. Hit Vetter's feet. Kill in the field of play. Umpire from the... the <laughs> the very low percentage of those little tricks the, the taps behind ever come off. Do they look good when they do, though? As up it goes now. In the Werribee Central's fall on. A good defence from East Geelong as they get it out towards the half line. One kick and it's in the East Geelong forward line. Up they go. Nobody can take the mark. It's crumped out. Nobody can pick it up now. There's a big pack of players. Umpire's going to have to come in and say, give comes now. Umpire Guanachia. You're kidding me. Up it goes. Bolton gets the tap out. Doesn't actually go to anybody as they try and get it out now. Through comes Chug. I think it is. He's in the pack of players. He just gets, gets a funny little kick and goes to himself. But now, who's that out there? It's levels off the ground. It's 15. Toby Bray can't pick it up. And the umpire again. So that's good for him. Up it goes, Harding him in ruck, he gets the tap out towards the boundary line. The black we're talking about is Chug and he gets it again, he's been taken off him. Out it comes now, it's picked up by East Geelong in the form of, who was that Bowman? Bowman, uh, Bowman. Bowman, Bowman's played a pretty good game and up it is, this time he's played the free kick against Bell, it's about time. And that would be Nico. Nico, the boy that came on that we don't know too much about. So Nico with the ball now, steadies himself up. God, it's a nice little Girl, kick. beautiful kick. He might kick. be able to mark, mate, but the kick was all right. Yeah, and most definitely. That was a nice definitely. kick going forward. And Scrobblack comes out and takes a mark 30 metres out from goal directly in front. They need this to keep a minute, you know. Yeah, they do. Yeah, it's just uh, getting a bit beyond them. But uh, as I said, only early in the second, or sorry, late in the second quarter. Scrobblack goes back, umpires just stands there and looks up. And the big fella kicks his third goal of the afternoon and the fourth goal for the East Geelong side. And me, I don't think I'd be doing that. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they do that this afternoon, this afternoon as well. So the ball now, back with the umpire in the middle of the ground. Hardingham does the ruck work, two, knocks the ball forward to the half forward line. To, uh, gamble it was to try to kick the ball off the ground. The player was infringed with, the umpire didn't see it. Now it's kicked back towards the half forward line. O'Hara's there, Smith's also for Werry. And the tackle there from Chamberlain's good. Handball comes out, goes towards Burke. Burke back to Ellis. Ellis steps around the first uh, player coming at him. Then gets a long kick in towards the half forward line. In front, Gamble. Actually didn't take the mark. Took his picked up the there. Ball. Bowman is again as the siren sounds here to end the second quarter. And at half time, East Geelong will go in 8-6, I believe, 54. They will lead East along 4-5-29. Goal kickers to this stage for the home side. Werribee, three to Anthony Kitchen. One to Anthony Burke, Nathan Lovell, David Hall, Matthew DeLuca and David Gamble. And four